Scorpio. What's going on, guys? Peace, love, and light to you. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back to bring you guys another general message, okay? All right, Scorpios, we're going to get into this. I don't know for sure what is going to come out from spirit, so only take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome. Definitely hit that subscription button and become a part of the family here. Also, guys, don't forget to check out my main channel, which is Inner Awakened Goddess Tarot. Subscribe over there. I have plenty of readings for you guys to watch, more spiritual and channel message reading, okay? Also, guys, I am open for personal reading, so all of my information is down in the description box, okay? All right, guys, so we're going to get into this. I wanted to clear the energy first. All right. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, <clears throat> sun moon rising and venus all right what is the energy what is the message holy spirit all right so today guys i'm going to use my kipper deck so we're going to tap into the spiritual portal to see what is going on in and around your energy holy spirit what are we talking about for scorpio what's going on in and around their energy please tap me into the spiritual portal please protect me if i channel the messages for scorpio let no weapon form against me or my scorpio family shall prosper i speak of peace love and light to each and every one of them in jesus name any evil eye or any witchcraft any negative energies devil energy demonic energies i cast it back to its rightful owner in jesus name and it is so all right guys let's get started holy spirit what is the message what are we talking about tonight for scorpio what is the message here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? <clears throat> what is the message for Scorpio? All right, so we have message of concern in the reverse, number 14. Some of you guys could have been born on the 14th. The 14th breaks down to a five. Some of you guys uh, could have been born on November the 5th. Okay, so we have toll and labor. <clears throat> number 38 so some of you guys can be 38 years old of course 38 breaks down to an 11 so that is of course scorpio energy november maybe november the 11th okay hmm tell me more holy spirit i feel like with that message of concern here hmm it's coming out in the reverse so maybe you haven't heard from someone in a little while maybe someone is not texting you dming you emailing you as well also, what I'm getting, Spirit is saying there's nothing to worry about. There's no message to be concerned about. Toll and labor. A lot of you guys are putting a lot of hard work into your goals, into your dreams, aspirations. Focusing on your careers, possibly. We have the number 19, <clears throat> which is coffin. Some of you guys could have been born on the 10th. 19 breaks down to a 10. To a 10, excuse me. So that is the 10th day. Um, some of you guys can be 19 years old. Hmm. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio. Hmm. And this is Scorpio energy with the death energy, the coffins. You have looks like you had to put something to an end. Some of you guys could be going through a spiritual awakening. Someone could actually had a, a course of actual death here. Hmm. Tell me more. What is it that we need to know? Possibly also with that message of concern, maybe you're not talking to someone right now. You're not reaching out to them about any concerns. Possibly you're focused on your career, your stability. We have the number 25, high honor. Some of you guys can be 25 years old. 25 breaks down to a seven. You could have been born on the seventh. <clears throat> Back of the deck, we have the number eight, which is false person. So there's someone who pretended to be something that they wasn't around you. Someone was fake, phony, wearing a mask, covering up how they truly feel. Now, with the high honor card here, there's someone that you held in high honor that possibly you ended things with. You may not be talking to this person, reaching out to them. This is someone who was in like a higher honor, someone who was like a wife, a husband, someone that was very well respected in your life, okay? So we're going to clarify these cards to get a more in-depth of what's going on here. <clears throat> All right. Holy Spirit, tell me about the message of concern for Scorpio. Tell me about the message of concern in the reverse for Scorpio. Message of concern in the reverse for Scorpio. Last shuffle. Message of concern for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
<clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm having some trouble with my throat here. We have Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. It seems to me someone has wanted to reach out with an offer to you. Someone may want to rekindle something. Hmm. But I feel like you guys are not talking to this person, but looks like someone has wanted to reach out to you. Tell me about message of concern. Message of concern. I'm getting someone has wanted to start over, had to have a brand new start, but maybe they're not saying anything. They're not reaching out about this. Thank you. Wow. Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Someone obviously don't want me to give you guys this message. My throat is starting to bother me. Hold on. Let me get something to drink, guys. <clears throat> okay. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So it seems to me what I just saw here and what I just heard is that someone is trapped in their head about reaching out to you. This is why you're not hearing from this person. Someone feels stuck in a situation. Someone is losing their mind, overthinking the situation. This is why someone possibly did not reach out to you. Someone definitely wants to bring you an offer, bring you a gift, want to start over, but they're overthinking here. You guys could be in separation. I'm feeling like this person could be overthinking the situation because possibly you may have already told them that you do not want to reconcile with them. Right now, a lot of you guys are praying, you're meditating, spending some time alone, just getting your mind in peace of mind together this relationship looks like to me with the six of pentacles and the six of swords six of pentacles in reverse this was a one-sided relationship you felt like you were giving more to this person than they were giving to you and you're trying your best to move on and separate yourself someone here has a lot of guilt remorse and regret for how things ended between you guys and i feel like they're overthinking they're not speaking up saying what they truly feel they're not sending this message they are concerned but they're not saying anything Wow. Tell me about toll and labor. <clears throat> Tell us about toll and labor. Why is that here, Holy Spirit? Toll and labor. Why is that here for Scorpio? Tell me about toll and labor. <clears throat> Why is toll and labor here? What is the message here? Tell us about toll and labor. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. Someone possibly is wanting to work on having a solid foundation with you, possibly a marriage here, maybe wanting to invest into a business or a family life with you. Someone sees you as their... And all be all. All right. So we have, wow, look at there, the four swords. So you guys are definitely in separation with this person. Hmm. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So yeah, it seems to me, you guys, you no longer feel the same way about this person. You don't feel that chemistry, that fire for them anymore. Possibly this person was very overly emotional in the situation, or this can be your energy. This could be why you don't want to rekindle this love with them and you guys have walked away because this person has broken your heart with the three of swords here. They broke your heart. Devastated you. Wow, this is why you had to walk away. Possibly this person didn't take any action towards you and this is why you lost interest. I'm feeling like right now you're just focused on yourself. Focus on your businesses, your project, maybe putting in some more overtime when it comes to work to build a stable foundation for yourself. And this is why during that time, you're taking this time to meditate, pray. You just feel like you need space to work on yourself. Hmm. Work on your own stability, your own family. Build this stable foundation for yourself. Hmm. Tell me about Coffin. Why is Coffin here, number 19? Tell us about Coffin. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, tell me about Coffin. Why is Coffin here? Tell 
told us about coffin for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, guys, of course, keep in mind, if the reading resonates, leave a comment down below. But, of course, if it does not, you know, only take what applies, okay? Let the rest of it fly. Tell us about coffin. Thank you. Justice. Labor energy. Hmm. You guys may have took justice in your own hands by walking away from this person. Things have came to an end. Possibly uh, someone here could be receiving karma. We have, wow, six of... Six of Cups. These words are so small. Sorry, guys. Six of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Back of the deck, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups came out again in the reverse along with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you guys, you don't want this anymore. You don't want this. You'd rather be separated from this person. That you may also feel like they have nothing to offer you. Maybe you felt trapped and stuck in this situation. Someone here is coming off as very, very manipulative here. This person did not put in the work to have this relationship. And this is why you lost interest. You just want to forget about the past. Leave this person in the past because you feel like they're very emotionally manipulative. Low vibrational. Possibly don't know how to love properly. Possibly also you guys may have lost feelings for this person because they didn't put the effort in. If they sold you a dream, you're not living in a dream state anymore. You're not confused. Yeah, look at their emperor. You're taking back control of your life. Things are moving fast for you, coming towards you quickly. I'm also getting here. This person also wants to talk to you, have a conversation, but you feel so hurt, backstabbed, and betrayed that you guys had to separate from this person. And now you are standing your ground. You're protecting yourself. And with the world card, you are ending this cycle. Yeah, you feel like you had to stand up for yourself, protect your energy from this person. They disappointed you in this relationship. They hurt you, backstab and betrayal here. Being very manipulative. Possibly this person could be an Aries with the emperor energy here. This person seems to me they want you to take them most seriously here by, you know, and they want to reach out and talk to you, but they hurt you too much. This person could also be set in their ways, very stubborn, or this could be your energy. All right, final card, Spirit for Scorpio. Tell me about high honor. Hmm. I'm also getting here from Toll and Labor. You put a lot of work into this family, this marriage that you have with this person, and now you feel as though you need to separate yourself, gain clarity and peace on your own time, meditate, get your mind together. Tell me about the high honor. <clears throat> Tell me about high honor. Why is that here? Yeah, you're putting an end to the situation. You feel it's best that you just move on. You know, justice is going to be served in your favor in the situation after you've ended it. The Holy Spirit and your angels and ancestors are balancing out the scales for this relationship as well. Causing an ending. Hmm. Wow, we got the emperor again, Aries energy. So yeah, this could have been someone's husband or wife, someone who is uh, possibly an Aries. But this person is very like stone. You know, the emperor doesn't show any emotions. So this person could be set in, his, set in their ways. They're falling up under high honor. So you had a lot of respect for this person. This is like a father figure or a husband. Hmm. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. This person that was so important into your life that you held in high honor, you no longer are wanting to reconcile this connection. Maybe because this person doesn't show a lot of emotions. They're not expressing themselves. Very stubborn. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This person realizes that they have lost their opportunity to be with you here. But now this person is wanting forgiveness. Yeah. If you're married, this person wants to stay married to you, High Priestess. But you're feeling like this person is very, very manipulative in some type of way with the High Priestess in reverse. Also, this can be some secrets that are going to be revealed that now someone here is looking at things in a different perspective. I feel like you guys also feel the need to release and let this person go because they play too many mind games, too manipulative. Yeah, too many mind games, Queen of Cups. And right now you're just praying for healing as well. You're trying to heal through this situation. You're trying to get back and move on because you didn't know where you stood with this person. Two of Wands and the Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're waiting for something better to come towards you because this relationship wasn't going anywhere. No sense of direction. Wow. I feel like you guys are going to end up meeting someone else that may be a fire sign here. Hmm. 
This person may cause you to bring your guards down. You may not feel like you have to protect your energy from this person. Or this can be your person feeling like someone else is going to come into the picture and sweep you off your feet and they're feeling paranoid and feeling rejected. Hmm. Yeah. All right, Scorpios, this is what I have for you here. 1515 on the timer. As I said that, thank you, Spirit. All right, so I'm going to end it right there. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Thank you so much, my fellow Scorpios, for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Again, if you're new, hit that subscription button, like the video, comment down below. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.